Hello and welcome back. This is Ashkur Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Google Analytics new version on any WordPress website so that you will be able to track your visitors' activities like from which resource they are coming into your website, what are the blog posts your visitors are loving the most, how long they are staying on your website, and many other parameters so that you will be able to analyze the data and then you can optimize based on their preferences to get the most out of your blog site or any website so without further ado let me show you how we can set up a complete new google analytics account how we can set up the analytics reporting on a wordpress website step by step so let me take you to a new window here and after that i have to make a search for google analytics and here it is if i click here you are going to find the first link analytics.google.com so we have to click here and it is going to take you to your google login page where you have to sign in using your gmail account so i'm going to use an account here i'm going to provide the account details and let me put the password and hitting enter and now it is going to take us to the google analytics homepage. from where we'll be able to set everything up as you can see here welcome to google analytics google analytics give you the free tools you need to analyze data for your business in one place so you can make smarter decisions so now as you can see we are starting from the brand new condition so let me click on this start measuring button right here and after that you will be landed right here in this page where you have to provide your account information so if you just notice the website i am going to set up the analytics for is a portfolio website so i'm going to type a name here let's say Rules portfolio site just as an example and after that as you can see account data sharing settings you can select all of these options to provide some information then you have to click on this next button right here and after that you have got this option for property details where as you can see you have to provide the property name so create a google analytics for property to measure your web or app data so here i'm going to provide the property name which is again Rules portfolio site and after that we have got reporting time zone so you can select your time zone here so for example if i want to select bangladesh just take a look i have got the gmt plus six bangladesh time zone but i'd love to go with the united states version because i mostly operate my business or um, i mostly stay active on that working hours so let me select united states from here you can select based on your preference and after that select the currency you would love to go with so i'd love to keep it to us dollars as it is and after that i would love to click here on this show advanced options to activate the previous or the universal analytics property for this setup so let me just click on this button and after that i'm going to provide my website url so if you just notice here is the website url i'm going to select it from here and after that i'm going to provide the url right here so before that i have to provide www and then as you can see create both a google analytics 4 which is the new version and a universal analytics property universal analytics is the previous version right so we are going to create for the both uh, measurement or the both platform and then let me click on this next button and after that you have to provide your business information and here as you can see industry category so i'd love to select a category from here let's say internet and telecom and you can select based on your niche and after that the business size i have got uh, one to ten employees which is actually me personally and then how do you intend to use google analytics with your business so you have to select whatever your goal is from this list or you can select every um, listing available here so i'm going to type out or to select measure customer engagement with my site or app optimize my site or app experience then measure data across multiple devices or platforms optimize my advertising cost increase my i'm actually going to select everything from here okay so i don't have an app but i'd love to go with uh, lead generation for future uh, procedures now i have to simply click on this create button right here and then you are going to see the google analytics terms of service agreement so 
you have to read everything if you want to learn more about these things but i'd love to select and then select and after that let's click on this i accept button right here and after that you are going to find this option web stream details just take a look we have got everything already settled right so now what we have to do we can simply set this up with the let me take you here yeah here is the code as you can see so after coming up here you have you are going to find this code which you have to provide on your head tag of the website so we are actually going to use a plugin so instead of putting these tags into the head we are going to use a plugin to make everything easier for us so let me take you to wordpress dashboard and after that i have to go to plugins and yeah i have to click on this add new button right here after that i'm going to make a search for monster and here it is i'm going to attach the link of this uh, plugin into the video description for your easy access for sure so after coming here you just have to click on this install button and it is going to be installed on your website and let's just wait while it is being installed after that we have to activate the plugin and here we go we have got it installed now let's click on this activate button right here to activate the plugin so that we'll be able to use it for our usage so here we go welcome to monster monster insight we have to click on this launch the wizard button right here after that you are going to find these options as you can see which category best describe your business so i'm going to select publisher and after that you can select like business website if you have got an agency or you can select for e-commerce store by simply clicking here so i'd love to keep here and then let me click on save and continue and after that you are going to find you are using monster insight Lite. if you're using the free version you don't need any license so this is great so now we are going to click on this connect monster insights and it is going to start authenticating the website as you can see here after that login using your um, gmail address that you use to create your account on google analytics and here we go we have got this site already added here now let's click on this complete connection it is finalizing the authentication so that everything is going to be properly settled as you can see now let's go a little bit down and you're going to find these options let's click on save and continue and after that we can simply click on this save and continue and it is now going to check your website for to see if everything just uh, settled properly and just take a look awesome you are all set monster insight is all set up and ready to use so that means we have connected the site properly and now if i click on this finish setup and exit wizard it is going to take us to a new page as you can see loading setting just take a look we have got website profile active profile is this one so if i copy this id copy and let's go back to analytics and after that if i take you a little bit down and if i click here on this connected site text let's click here and just take a look we have got connected text this one if i hit ctrl f ctrl v you are going to see this id is matching up with this id that means we are done with the website connection with google analytics so let me take you back to monster insta insights and after that if i show you here from reports we'll be able to see the reports like how many visitors are uh, visiting our website how many page views how many sessions it is here directly from our wordpress backend just take a look sessions page views average session duration bounce rate but it is going to take you like two to three hours to 24 hours to get everything updated so please don't worry now let me take you back to analytics and let's verify if we have done everything correctly so let's cross this out cross this out and if i click here you are going to see we have got two properties one is with the universal analytics the older version and another one is the ga4 google analytics for the new version so let's go back to the older version and let's click here it is going to take us to the older versions of the analytics and just take a look we are seeing one visitor is visiting the site and you can actually track the other way if i click here on admin and after that if i take you back to tracking tra actually tra take you to tracking info and then if i click on tracking code 
you are going to find this option as you can see one active user right now so if i click on send test traffic and here we go we are going to see some numbers going to be changed here uh, in real soon and if it is not changing let me take you here i'm going to visit acharolrafi.com here on this page and let's go back and if we click on this real-time traffic report uh, reports from here let's click here and just take a look we have got two active users and both of these people are from Silat, right so one is coming up from this page and another one is coming up from this page which i have just opened up so everything settled perfectly on the site we have done the proper setup of google analytics of for the wordpress website so this was it guys i believe you have found this tutorial helpful if you did please give this video a like and let me know if you need more tutorials on google analytics uh, from me i would love to make more videos on this like how to track the reporting how to uh, how all the features works on the google analytics dashboard and please let me know your opinion by commenting below if you have got any question as well and i have to see you in my next videos thank you so much have a good day bye bye